come on to you. Yeah, that was the news headlines there, live on APHD1. And we've got two overseas stars at the wicket now. We've got Ryan Tendashade coming in at number four. But it's going to be Shakti Gochan, the local legend, to come in and bowl his left arm spin in his final ever domestic tournament. Shakti Gochan, what a for Nepali cricket, been there for ages. Six matches at six wickets. He initially started his career as a batsman and then moved on uh, for some left arm orthodox and, and he was very crucial. Can I ask you one thing, Suraj? Is, is he definitely only 35? It seems like he's been around forever. Well, we'll have to ask him that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Shakti Goshen has been around for a long time. I remember back in uh, 2001, 2002, when he just started uh, his cricketing career, uh, he's, he was brilliant. He was brilliant. So he was a batsman primarily first and then moved on to slow left arm orthodox. And he's been picking wickets. He's the crisis man along with Basant Regni for the Nepali cricket team. And uh, credit to him. Yeah, such an icon of Nepal cricket, but he's been driven powerfully and elegantly by Singh all the way along the ground. One of the on for four. Might not make the highlights real quite like Richard Levy's, but arguably one of the most here. Pitched up, definitely inviting the batsman for a drive and a brilliant flowing off drive presented. They're singing and. Uh, Got the timing right on that occasion. Yeah, something about a left-hander. Interesting piece of fielding there. <laughs> As the throw goes a little bit awry from Magar, but the something about a left-hander, their elegance when they drive the ball. You think of Brian Lara, you go back to David Guerra, graceful batsman. They always seem to be left-handed. That's true beautiful to watch but uh, Shakti Goshen is a smart operator and he, Ravinder Singh has to be cautious here as well. Shakti Goshen in fact is bowling and primarily known as a bowler but he's the first batsman from Nepal to reach a thousand runs in ODI cricket. How's that for as a stat for you Andrew? Yeah that's a great stat and I suppose when you've been around the team since the millennium it helps you get up to that total. Shorter this time from Gao Chan straight to Levy there at point. He's a real icon of of cricket here in Nepal and he's inspired a generation of left arm spinners. Absolutely, we were talking about this yesterday in the country box, I think it was Navneet and me, as to Shakti Gauch and Basant Regmi, Binod Das, the way they've inspired the youngsters, there are many more bowlers as compared to the batsmen. Beautiful bowling from Gauch that's going to end the third over, the Gladiators now 20 for 2. The Pakara Rhinos flags fly here in Kathmandu. Interesting to see, of all the, the franchise teams, you have to say the Rhinos have seen the most together over the last week. Their overseas players that came in earlier, they went up to Pakara, they took a bus to Pakara, seven and a half hours it took them to drive there for a local function with their fans. They obviously flew back, they said we can't do that bus journey return. But they really have seen together as a unit. Yeah, and uh, credit to the owner, uh, she's a very passionate uh, woman. Ms. Deepa Agrawal uh, is involved with every nitty-gritty uh, that involves her team and, and it's showing. First the game itself, they're sticking together as a unit, produced a, a record score in the history of Nepali cricket. Uh, and uh, we've got match on Ryan Tendoy Shate. What a man he is. I'll, I'll let you 
do the talking here when uh, Tendo Shadi, Andrew. Yeah, an outstanding cricketer, Ryan Tendo Shadi. So in demand in franchise cricket. And you were talking about stats earlier. I'll give you another one. He's the man who holds the highest average in the history of ODI cricket. Higher than Virat Kohli, higher than Brian Lara, higher than any legend you can name. It's the Dutchman. It's Ryan Tendashadi. Wow. He certainly needs to produce those runs if his uh, team is going to get uh, anywhere close to 216 that they're chasing. But uh, we all know Tendashadi to be very destructive. Uh, one of the bigger names that are being featured in the TVS Everest Premier League 2018 edition. And uh, expecting some uh, fireworks from him as well, Andrew. Yeah, Saab causing him problems here, though. He's really getting the ball to shape nicely. Beautifully bowled again. No timing yet from Tender Shadi. I'll tell you another thing I think the Pakara Rhinos have done so well. They've not only headhunted Kyle Coulter to come into the team, but they've also said, we want you to captain beco because we know that you are a leader of men. They've seen what he's done with the Scottish team, and he's doing it here with the Pakara Rhinos. Absolutely. Such a big learning opportunity for a lot of youngsters that are in the team of Pokhara Rhinos as well. Bikram Soba. He, teams, he seems to have uh, gotten his team spot on. Sunil Tamala. He's, he's got the batting order right. He's got the bowling order right. Everything seems to be working for Kyle Koitza at the moment. Oh, lovely length again from Saab. Tendashali still can't get off the mark. I think the thing that I was talking to Kyle before the toss there, Kyle was telling me that he's been really struck by not only the passion for the game here, but also the skill set. And there's a huge amount of local talent that he thinks just needs a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of exposure to some of these world players, and they could soar. Absolutely, Andrew. That's what the tournament is all about, producing those players, giving them that exposure, giving them that confidence so that they can go out there and deliver for their team when required. You can see some amazing Nepali talents here mingling with uh, great international cricket stars. Four dots now, pressure building on Tendashade. He's away, just works that off his hip into the leg side. It's just going to be one. He has the ability to go through the gears late in an inning, so he won't be panicking yet, but this run rate, required run rate, is starting to spiral already. And there you go, Steve Agrawal, the passionate owner we were talking about, enjoying our chips and uh, obviously enjoying the match, given that they've produced 216. The key for Bikram Sopiari is the length in which he's bowling at. Uh, it's, it's not there, it's slightly short of a good length. It's not too short, it's not too full. So it's, it's bringing the batsman in two minds, whether to go for that full, go to the back foot, or, or play it on the front foot. Yeah, you're spot on, Suraj. A beautiful spell of bowling so far. Cut this time. And it's going to be a dot to finish his second over. He's got two for five. At the end of the fourth, it's 21 for two. Game three of the TVS Everest Premier League. We've been given a real spectacle of cricket in all three games so far, and they've been very different matches, all three of them. A low-scoring thriller to start, a game that ebbed and flowed both ways to give Sandy Blamachani's side their first win, and now a high-scoring disaster for the bowlers. Down the track, Tendashade to go, Chan. Just a single. He'll have to be slightly cautious here. Shakti Kochan is a very smart operator. As soon as he sees the batsman walking uh, down the pitch, he's either going to fire it in, he's not going to give any room to the batsman. But uh, the idea was right there to get to the pitch of the ball and then give it a whack. Not working uh, on that occasion. I think we'll see plenty more of those. Yeah, Kochan operating around the wicket to the left-hander, trying to tuck up Singh. Singh known as a good player of spin. Shorter, cut away, but they're just struggling to pierce the infield. They keep finding the fielders. Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen them uh, go hard off the ball as well, but uh, when it comes to timing and the placement, they've uh, 
not succeeded so far. Credit to the bowlers as well, the way they've bowled so far. But uh, I just feel something's going to give away here. Yeah, there's the big shot you were talking about, and it had to come. It's beaten the man, and it's going to run away for four. There was a came. Ochan holds his hands over his head. He thought he had his man. Yeah, it was in the air for a little bit. Complete control there. I mean, there's sweep shot is definitely the way to go. This time slightly straying on uh, the line. Bowled onto his pad. But I mean, this thing is too good to miss out. Inside the circle. Went uh, over him for a boundary, and that'll give him some confidence. Yeah, that man at sort of square leg has gone a bit finer now. Just to give Gauchin a little bit of protection. Fuller, that's a glorious shot. That's one of the shots of the day. Didn't try to overhit it. Flown over the mid-off, all the way three for six. Inside out, beautiful shot. Full face of the bat, time direction. Look at his head position, everything accurate. Ravinder Singh spot on, and he's finally starting to gather his batting and, and also for his team. So Bhairava Gladiators now slowly starting to Press the accelerator. Looks for another big shot. Half an appeal. I think it came off the pad. What happened? What's happened? We're going to look at the replay here. Outside off. It's come off the keeper's pad and the stumps. He's appealing, but it's not out. And getting in some turn on that occasion as well, Shakti Gauchan. Uh, so that's the point of our gladiators camp, uh, slightly in stress. Yeah, so important to start this tournament with a win. Six teams playing every other side once, so only five group matches, and you've got to finish in the top four to stay in the comp. Fuller clipped into the leg side. There might be an opportunity for two. That's to the deep side of the boundary, but Tendashare, oh, there's a misfield on Tendashare. He's very quick between the wickets. He rightly takes the two. That's going to end the fifth over. And now the score is 34 for two. There's the, the scene after five overs. We're going to have a change in bowling. Paul Coughlin's going to come on for his first bowl in the TVS Everest Premier League. We're also going to have a change in the commentary box. I'm going to pass over to Navneet Krishna, who'll be joined by Nepal former star Paresh Lahan. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, they've lost two wickets, early wickets, but they are gaining momentum. Ravinder Shah batting well. That was a hard hitting on drive from from Ryan Tendiscata. But goes straight to the mid on fielder. Cleans up well. So Paul Coughlin comes into the attack and Paresh 34 in the sixth over. Chasing 215. This is not going to be an easy task. No, no, it's not going to be an easy task, but it's not impossible as well. Finally, he's able to thread the gap that there were four field circle. In fact, five in the 30-yard circle. And Ryan Tendiscata was still able to find the gap there. A full-length Yorker tried, but Ryan was able to get underneath that. And a misfield, you'd have to say. He should have stopped that. Four important runs for the Gladiators. Banga! Is that the start? Six by Intendus Kata, and he's on his way. They need this momentum if they want to stand a chance in this game.
He did exactly that. Short delivery this time. Is that going to find the boundary as well? Yes, it is. Four, six, and four. And Ryan Tendis Carter is slowly and steadily pulling things back. Yeah, I think it's very poor bowling. Uh, I mean, you bowl, oh, pull up, hit for a six, and you bowl a shorter one. Why don't you mix your pace? That is very effective in this wicket. Yeah, Coughlin's first over, and he's already gone for 14. It's the Englishman against the Dutchman here in Kathmandu. Another shot ball. There's an appeal and up goes the finger. Was there a nick or was it the matter? Because Paul Coughlin has gotten the big fish. This is huge in the context of the game. Yeah, Coughlin came out on top after getting hit for three consecutive, consecutive boundaries, four, six and four. Carter has to go back to the yeah I think it was gloves bat but it's still out and while we were talking about Sakti Goshen earlier he was the first Nepali bats bowler to take a hat-trick in World T20 Right, the new batsman is the captain himself, Sharad Veswakar. And a good strike rate, 95, but he'll, like, he'll have to score at a much better rate if the gladiators will make a match, want to make a match of this. What a fantastic comeback by Paul Coughlin. Went for 14 runs in three deliveries. And comes back, takes the wicket of Ryan Tendiskata and finishes it off with a dot ball. Six overs completed, 48 for three. Very quickly, highlights so far in the power play. Started off very well in the first over, the big shot. And some good boundaries as well. And then the wicket started to fall. That was number one. That was number two. Some good shots just before Tendis Cutter got out. This was Singh in action, some lusty hits. And then Ryan Tendis Cutter fell. Very unfortunate to get out in that fashion, and he was looking good in the center. We're back live now, seventh over in progress. 48 for 3, the wickets column. Well, that doesn't look too good for the Gladiators. Oh my Another appeal. The umpire this time says... ...down leg, yeah? Yeah, it looked like that. Shushan Bari... That was hit straight to the field the bowler. He couldn't stop the ball, taking a run. Shut up by Swakar on strike now. Shushan Bari. He's a good operator as well, Shushan Bari. We can see lots of left palm spinners in Nepal. Courtesy Sakti Gauchan and Basant Regmi. Because the young spinners, the two senior spinners, they are the idol. change in the field here the short third man comes in to first slip and they get a gully in as well it's the captain himself and Shushan Bari now to sing handsomely driven to long off just the single though and they're tuning into live action on AP1 HD this is the third edition of the TVS Everest Premier League 
This is day two, match number two. The bite of our gladiators, the runners up of the last season versus the Pokhara Rhinos. And the Pokhara Rhinos earlier today put on a record total of a 215. And now the onus, the ball is in the bite of our gladiators court. Can they chase this down? So far, it isn't looking that good. The captain has just come to the center. 50 on the board for the Gladiators in the seventh over. We have to rebuild the innings now, get some partnerships. Shout out the first. That's a very good ball. Cramping him for room. Now, shout out has to stay there, give company to Ravinder Singh. This is very good tidy stuff from Shushan Bari. Seven overs completed now, 51 for three. There's 13 overs remaining in the game and they need over 160 runs to win this game. This is the first game for the Poker Rhinos and the Gladiators. This is match number three of the third edition of the TVS Everest Premier League and the sun is out bright and shining. Now we still have a very good crowd in and they were thoroughly entertained in the first innings courtesy Richard Levy and then Kyle Kutzer and towards the end Paul Cochran as well. Yeah, it was an entertaining inning by Levy. No, I think Dave Shah is the youngest player who's playing this tournament. I think he's just 17 years of age. Another left arm spinner. Shot. Fantastic shot. And six runs to the captain. Oh, in fact, it was R. Singh who hit that, Dave Shah, 17 year old playing the Everest Premier League for his career, a fantastic platform that the Everest Premier League provides to Nepal, a bit unfortunate that he went for a six in his very first delivery, but looks very promising, nice action that he's got, what a comeback, chance for a wicket here. And unfortunately, it falls right in between the two fielders. Sweeper cover and cover. Couldn't get to that in time. And you could almost see him invite the batsman with that little bit of the flight and giving it a little more air in comparison to the first delivery. And almost resulted in a wicket. Yeah, he looks like a left-arm leg spinner like Chahal. The Indian leg spinner. He's a young lad. He was greeted with a six. Almost got a wicket on the second ball. That's very well bowled by him. Just this is a good innings from Ravi Indra Singh so far. He's given he's gotten 28 in just 19 deliveries, and that's the rate that they need to go at. Sharat Vesavka doesn't have too much time to settle in, unfortunately. But very courageous from Dave Shah to still give it some flight despite going for a six in the first ball. Yeah, the courage is there. I think he has a good cricketing mind. He's setting his field right. And he's looking for that big hike again. Over mid-wicket, goes straight to long on though. Just the single. He is trying to force the issue is the captain, Vesavkar. He's just got into the center. Yes, he doesn't have too much time, but looking for those singles and doubles are equally important as well, and that will also help him get a sense of the conditions and the pitch in itself. And Dave Shah needs to 
I mean, shorten his uh, length a bit. Talking about that, he bowls a very short ball, a half tracker. And another six now. Under pressure here. Indra Singh is capitalizing on the Once again, this was a half tracker, like Paresh mentioned. It has to be hit, and he did exactly. At one point, the square leg fielder would have felt that he were, that he had a chance, but he just sailed over him for another six. And already, 16 runs of this over. 34 of 20 deliveries for Ravi Indra Singh. It was good to see that Sakti Gauchin come in and talk to the bowler. Dot Porter finishes over after the eighth over. Bhairava Gladiators are 67 for three. Excellent last over for the gladiators. Exactly the kind of over that they overs that they need now. They need a lot more of that. 16 coming of the last over. Shushan Bhari continuing from the Chubar end. Sharat Vishwakar on strike. Almost played on. All right, looks like Sanyukta has someone there next to the boundary line. Let's see who she's got. Over to you, Sanyukta. I have with me the coach of Pokhara Rhinos, Nathan Dodd. Um, Nathan, um, you've on to a oh great God! start. You put, uh, runs on the board. Uh, what is the strategy? Oh, well, it, I don't think there's any secret to it. If you put a good score on the board, you put pressure on the other team. So um, we've got a way to a good start with, with Richard and Kyle and um, some good contributions from the, the other guys down the order. So it's just about bowling well and um, you know, ensuring that, uh, that we minimise the boundaries to, um, to, to hold them to under what we've got. Um, uh, Richard, he's, he's put in a great score. His performance was uh, amazing. Uh, what Oh, well, I hope so. Uh, definitely, I hope so. Uh, he's played a lot of cricket, Richard. He's played international cricket, so he's he knows his game. He knows knows what he's strong at, um, and, and, he, and he sticks to that, and that's that's what he did today, which is all I ask of him, yeah. Um, this is the first game of the Pokhara Rhinos. I, I think you're off to a great start. What are you looking forward to in the tournament, and how do you like the atmosphere out here? Oh, it's a great atmosphere, no doubt about it. Um, uh, it's really good to be able to... I just got a wicket, actually. So, um, yeah, it's a great atmosphere. Um, you know, we're, we're just here to, you know, enjoy each other's company. Um, you know, we've we got, we got no, no goals about, you know, trying to win a certain amount of games or anything like that. We're just going to enjoy each other's company and, players, um, and, and people. We're doing that throughout the tournament. I think we're skillful enough to, to go deep into the tournament. That was the coach of And now, back to the com box. That was a very poor cricketing shot by Sardesh Wakar. After getting a boundary, he should have just stayed there, just taken a single and give the strike to Ravinder Singh, who's playing so well. Absolutely. Thank you, Sanyuk. Interview with Nathan Dodd, the coach. And in between that interview, what happened was the captain of the Gladiators did that. With Ravi Indra Singh going so well in the other end, all Charat Vesavkar had to do was give him strike. But going for the big shot over mid-wicket, 
and in the process missing the ball and very clever stuff from the wicket keeper he didn't make a mess of that and another wicket goes down and it's the captain Sharat Vesavka back in the dugout and slowly and steadily it's starting to become a lot more difficult for the gladiators and the new batsman in is Mohamed Arif Sheikh he can bat a bit as well he's a very promising youngster yeah that is what is needed just take singles and Sharad Veswaka, he played two dot balls in the last over and scored a boundary and he didn't have to go for that slog sweep. He just had to take singles and give the strike to Rabin Singh, who's batting so well. Absolutely, it's just the pressure getting the better of the batsman in that occasion and the pressure of the scoreboard. And that's what happens when you have 215 on the board. Neatly tucked away, just a single though. This is a very good comeback after conceding 16 in the previous over. Dave Shaw went for 16. This is a good comeback for the Rhinos. Nine overs completed, 73 for four. Right. It looks like it's going to be Dave Shah again. So the captain has a lot of trust in the bowler and that's good to see. Yes, he did go to 16 runs in the previous over. And was this man on screen, Ravi Inder Singh, who took him apart? Let's see what happens in the second over. Ah, that's a good start. He doesn't mind giving him that flight. That's a very good ball, inviting the batsman to go after him. He's not afraid of that. That's a good sign of a good bowler. Shot. Take that. Ravi Inder Singh is not a gang, not going to hang long. You keep flighting it, mate, and I'm gonna keep hitting you out of the ground. Very clear policies from Ravi Inder Singh. Shot for Dev Shah. That was big right past the side screen. And he just kept going and going. And that's six number three to the Indian, Ravi Inder Singh. What do you reckon, uh, Namdeet? Was that 100 meters or what? Well, we've seen some big ones. This is definitely right up there. Levy hit one, some massive sixes in the first innings. Oh. Down the leg side now, the keeper misses it as well. Is that going to be a wide? Yes, it is. And the bye as well. So the runs are coming at one end. Unfortunately, when the other batsmen's on strike, they haven't been able to continue that momentum. And Rab oh, it looks like it touched the... Tough call. Yeah, he's, gi he's giving too much of air and it's too fuller. He has to reduce his length. And, and then he'll be a bit effective. So the new batsman now on strike, Mohamed Sheikh. Hopefully be a lot more easier for him to play the leg spinner coming into the right-hander. And he manages to start off by getting two runs. And he's looking for the big ones already. He's just been faced the two deliveries. Anxiously looking on all the supporters. Very much still waiting, lingering around here. Banga! Take that! That is huge! Another six. Dave Shah. We've already seen 16 in his first over. 16 have come of this already. And the gladiators have motored along to 89 now. Gladiators, batsmen, they are hitting all around the ground. Mr. Arif Sheikh has. I'll come back. Arif Sheikh has improved his hitting a lot. When he started playing cricket, when he started playing for his region, he was not like that. Now he's... Full toss! 
Into the crowd she goes. Uh, and another six. This is in the two overs that Dave Shah has bowled. 95 for four. Game on. At, at the end of 10 overs, Thai River Gladiators, they are 95 for four. Right, we're at the halfway mark, 95 on the board, and the two batsmen in the center seem to be clearing the boundaries quite easily. And the new bowler for the Rhinos is going to be Paul Coughlin from the far end. And a change in the commentary box as well, overs to 11 to 15, so that also means our local fellow commentators will back he, back, be back here in the commentary box, Rajan Shah and Bipun Sheshta. Dhanewad Namnit. Wide Rudus Rwad Garekasan, Paul Coughlin Le. Yo Varko. Pachil. Awa Hami. Last Rukudur Chaka Hami. Replay Rana Gai Raya Kasan. Yo Chai. Sida Andiya Kasan Ravi Indar Singh Le. Straight Bondi Mati Hira. Yo Lake Side Ma. Le. Back to live. Mosa Gonan Chabhi Bhus Rishta. Dasa Gwen Namaskar. Pairubha Gladiator School Aadha Innings Sakki Sakke Gosha. Bishal Lakshya Lai Pachya Yaya. Gladiator Sli Dui Saya Swara Ran Ko Bishal Lakshya. Rayu Rabi Indar Singh Ko Nikai Tulo Six. Arif Saik Tis Pachi. Ravi Indar Lai Pachya Yaya. Legs tempata Nikenis Disa Behin Disa Badke Gupal Chomanda Coughlin Stall the right as a left handed batsman of Indra Singh strike was on Ramro Kilwagas and last over just a day of Salk the inexperienced baller Pull Handy Agasan. Awkward bounce. Four runs on his own. Richard Lee. Yeah, Rokna Sakenan. Royo pulls out to Tarif Gordon Potser. Reflex muscle, Sarnay reflex. Ravinder Singh ko. No Ramro ball thi na yu. Ramro piece bago thi yu. Ramro bounce paaka thi. Height pani Ramro thi yu. Tara Ravinder Singh le. Ramro tackle gare yu ball lai. Nike fast pull gare. Fal Saroop char run praapta gare ka san. Ravinder Singh ne kai mood maate khin chan. Bairava gladiators lai. Ko lakshya sama puri yao ne. You in your brother son, Nikke Ramra pool. Fielder, beat by Kathi, or coat high the Akasan, long on the fourth. Rayo Lagata, do you ball mark off? Do you attack Charan Prahar Karisaki Kasan, Rabi in the Singh Razan? Momentum change by the match for last over water, just a two day match on Le Prahar Gare, Chaka. आने लास्ट ओवर में ये वाला मोमेंटम जून सीट वापस आ गया डेट्स को लाएगी तीस में कैपिटलाइज कर रहा है कासा आरिफ सेक दूसरी तरफ तार चौका है यो आई मीन सबसे स्ट्रेट में हल्का स्लो और थे लास्ट बॉल बंदा रहा हल्का आउटसाइड ऑफ थियो अली दी कॉफ्लेन स्ट्रगल कर रहा है कासन रवि इंदर सिंह ले निखिल उत्कृष्ट पारी राजन तथी तारीफ करे तथी कॉम्सा उन लाये यही करने लाये ये कुत्ते यो नेपाल में
तेईने कर रहे हैं कहाँ संदूक से सोलह रन को ताक पहुँचाओ था जो प्रेशर उनसे नॉली का ना रा जो ऐडा शेटअप कर रहे कहाँ संद पच्चीस लोग बैठ सोलह रन को लाएगे अतिन तो रामरो कहाँ संद कॉफ्लिन बढ़ के रहे कहाँ संद आपनों लाइन लेंथ बढ़ा रहते उसको पूरा फायदा उठाए कहाँ संद रविंदर सिंह रविंदर सिंह संग गुमाओं के लागी कहीं पनी चाहिए ना कॉफ्लिन संग गुमाओं के लागी थुपरी करा भाई कारण प्रेशर मात देखीं चाहे कॉफ्लिन अब यहाँ बात है तुम्हारे आलू पर मैं कहीं पन देखती ना भाई वाकई एडिटर्स लाई राम रो इनिंग अगर जितने अवश्य नेस्टिच चा और ये बड़े लक्ष्य थोड़ो स्वति ती खासे � फुटबॉल का स्किल्स दिखाने को जो कॉफ़ीन ले तो रा कनेक्ट करना सके ना रविंदर सिंह जति तारीफ करते थे कम सा ये जो लास्ट चार पांच ओवर जो रन बने को सा इले ग्लैडियटर्स लाई यो चेस को लाई की फिर ये पनी तावेदार बनाए को सा रा ग्लैडियटर्स ले चांस जगियो पानों से जति बॉर्डर्स जति तालों से मच फिर लेकिन ये पाली एक रन होने सा जैसे टार्गेट करे फिर तो बोला ला देव साला ही ये वाला प्रेशर बहुत क्रिएट हुई चाहिए कौन सा कि अब कोलाई घर होने जंदूए घर उल्लेख करे कासन हम स्कोर अभी इंदर सिंगले सारी तरह सॉर्ट खेले कासन यो लेक साइड में पूल आने का थे जो नॉकड बाउंस वाले चौका गए का थे मैंने तारीफ को आवश्यकता कुने भी नहीं मध्य एक तीन जूने स्क्रीन में आपने हम रात और सकले देखी रन बॉक्स तीस बॉल मार्च चौवन रन विदाउट एनी प्रेशर देखे लड़ने रहे कासन रविंदर सिंह रसंगेशन मोहम्मद सेख नेपाली क्रिकेट को थुलो नाम पनी पांच बॉल मार्च पंद्रह रन ये दुई तक को जोड़ी चाली बनी दूसरी कैप्टन स्कॉटलैंड का पूरा राइनोस का आप ही बॉलिंग करना है कासन मैं बने नहीं फिफ्थ बॉलर टारगेट गरीब शक्य है कोसर त्यों कोटा पूरा करने पर नहीं सर त्यों दिन कैप्टन को यो ओवर में बनी रविंद्र सिंह राइट शेटर टारगेट करना सक्सन तरह उन्हें एकदम सक्सन बॉलर हूँ उन्हें रामरो घरे कासन � कायल कुर्चर पुखरा राइनोस को लागी बारह ओवर को साथ आए कासन पार्ट टाइम बॉलर स्कॉटलैंड का तो राफ़ले यहाँ पांच सौ बॉलर कुरुप में प्रस्तुत कर रहे कासन संभव तो लाइन रा लेंथ मात्रे पर ही ठीक रखने सके बनी कायल कुर्चर ने कि इकोनॉमिक साबित होना सक्षम कॉफ़लिन पनी स्ट्रगल कर रहा सन बॉलिंग करने लास्ट वर्ष इस्लाम में येरे जस्ते ही रात देव साला पनी हावी वाय का सन बैट्स होना रहू सो दूसरा बॉलर को ओवर रहू चार ओवर जोन बाकी सा तेलाई कवर करने को लायक कोइट्स और रामी सायद ऐसा बने सक्सो जोन धमला पनी आपने पूरे ओवर का पूरे कोटा का पूरे कोट काल कुर्जर को मो बैटिंग को अपनी फैन भाई सके कोसुल को समग्र में कप्तानी के ही फैन भाई सके कुसु विदेशी भूमि में आए रा जून संभालिए को कैप्टनशिप यू पहले गेम में दिखाई रहा है कासन तारीफ करने पर से काल कुर्जर को ऑफसाइड द ऑफसाइड मत बॉल पैक फुट मार गए थोड़े पंच कर दिए एक रन को लागी भैरव बाग ग्लैडिएटर्स को लगी गुमाओं को लगी कई पंच है ना यहाँ बात है संभालिए रखे ले रहा इन्हें एक स्लाइड बिस्तारे एक सिलेट कर दिया गाड़ी बड़े सम बड़े माया लक्ष्य सम फुकना पनी सकें चा लक्ष्य तेरे टाढा सा तर अपनी असम बाप क्रिकेट में कई पनी उधर इन्हें राजन रायो राम उठाई दिए क लागी रवि इंदर सिंह ले आपने टेड बैक सॉर्ट को रूप में रिप्ले में अपने हमें हरना सकते हों पॉल थोड़े सॉर्ट थियो लेट आए को थियो टाइम पाए कथित ले बैक फुट मत पुल कर दिए 
रन को लगी डीप मिड विकेट में लेफ्ट हैंडेड बैट्समैन को लगी शायद यो उत्कृष्ट इनिंग्स ट्वेंटी को लास्ट इयर यो वर्ष हमें हे अनुसार रविन्द्र सिंह जो क्वालिटी का बैट्समैन हो रंजी खेले धेरी वर्ष एट भेटरन खिलाड़ी हु इंडिया का हमें इसी जानने गर्व कि इंडिया का बैट्समैन धेरी राम बैटिंग करने हम देखना पाई रह रो फिर अर्क उठाने प्रयास कर बल हावा में तर नो मैच लैंड में दुई रन लेना सफल रवि इंद्र सिंह जो इंस्टांस में खेली रह जो हाइट जो चबी खाल फेस इनको मैं इंडियन बैट्समैन सुरेश रैना को याद आ जो खेलने स्टाइल पुल करने तरीका हाइट जीवडाल यो फेरी और को उठाई दे कसन फुलर लेंथ का ब्राम्रो कनेट भाई कुछ और यो सिदे और उनको लागी ये उटा ठुलो कोई संसा ग्लेडिटर्स को लागी रवि इंदर सिंह लाई कॉले आउट करने समस्या बढ़ रही सा हमें आराम से चक्का आने लामो दूरी तो ये करे कुछ फेरी पंजा से सभी चक्का उनको तो ये कर रहा कुछ टाढा टाढा समा राजन प्रश्न कुल्ले आउट करने बंदा अपनी प्रश्न ये ती मात्रे ही बोला रहले रो इन इन लाई यो लाभ वाला मुझे थोरन रहा आने बट रोकने मात्रे सके पनी पोखरा राइनो इसको लगे थे कि रे ठुलो उपलब्धि होने थी मेरा विचार में दुनिया साबले इन्हीं पिस पोटा कुदे ही हर एक बॉल लाई बाउंड्री में पुराई रहे कासन ग्लैडिएटर्स को लगी तो राम कुछ होते पोखरा राइनो शायद अब प्रेसर में आने थाले सकते हैं देखना सकते हम सातजा खिलाड़ी एक ही ठाव में जमा होने को रविन्द्र सिंह कसरी रोक्ने तो स्ट्राटेजिक प्लान में अब सुनील धमला बॉलिंग करना बाकी मैच में उन्हें एटा सक्षम बॉलर हम देखा चौं पैले पैले कंडीशन को राम यूज कर सकते उनके ट्यू क्रिकेट ग्राउंड उनके बुझे चिने का शायद उनको इंट्रोडक्शन हम चाँडे हेन सकते तर जो फॉर्म में रविन्द्र सिंह मतलब लागत ना ले कसे लोग ना रोकना सकते हैं एकदम फोर्चून फेवर्स तो ब्रेव बने हैं इस तय जो ने एसपी ने लागे पछाड़ी का रा नॉन मेंस लैंड वजारी को तो तबाले बने हैं इस तय एक राम रो बैटिंग को ये उटा परफॉर्मेंस जो नाम लिया ना पाई रहेगा सांग टीवी सीपीएल को ये उटा क्वालिटी जो क्रिकेट � दाऊ में एक रन मात्र लिख इस बाहर ओवर को समाप्ति में एक सय सत्ताईस रन चार विकेट को क्षति में भैरवा क्लैडिएटर्स जून इनिंग्स रिचार्ड लेवी ले खेले का थे फर्स्ट इनिंग माते सर ते ते इनिंग रतियों वंदा अद्भुत इनिंग रविंदर सिंह ले खेलते सन ग्लैडिएटर्स को लागे राजा सरी फर्स्ट इनिंग को दिशा सोरन बने हो सेकंड इनिंग में नौ बने बना सके देना अब यहाँ बात जम्मा एकानबे रन चाहिए कुछ और चालीस बॉल टी ट्वेंटी में देखी रही ना दुनिया साबले रविंदर सिंह अगाड़ी बड़ी रहे कासन और कोतिरा मोहम्मद से कुपनी स्ट्राइक रेट हमले याद करने पर नहीं उनसे छह बल मासूर रन पार कर सके कासन सक्ति गोसन को लागी ठुलो परीक्षा होना सकता है अंतिम घरेलू प्रतिगिताक पर नहीं हो सकती गोसन को अनुभव तीरा लो बल्ला आरिफ से अगली स्ट्राइक पाएगा सन उन्हें धेरे ही दो-तीन ओवर देखी पूरा परफॉर्मेंस हर राय का थे बेस शीट इन द हाउस वंसन नॉन स्ट्राइकर से इन मोहम्मद आरिफ से एक नेपाली क्रिकेट में ये उटा थुलो नाम तरफ उन मुख पर रहे को नाम मोहम्मद आरिफ से एक यो नाम याद रखे रखूं दर्शक बेंड यो युवा प्रतिभा मोहम्मद आरिफ सेख शक्ति गौसन को अगी बॉल फेस करने को लगी तैयार सन
फ्लाइट करने प्रयास ऑफिसर मंदा धेरे बाहर और शक्ति को उसने बात इस तो अनुशासन हिंद बॉल को पेक्षा गरीब दही ने पाले क्रिकेट में अलग दिशा प्राइस बन थी है डीजन दिया है रे अंपायर ले शक्ति को उसने लारिफ शुरू करा करने पर था ये बॉल बची करने नहीं सों एक रन को लाएगी ताला खेल दिया कसन स्ट्रेट में लॉन्ग अंतिर आरिफ से हर एक किसी को गेम होनी संगत सा आमले डिवीजन टू में एरियो क्वालिफायर में एरियो वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर अपने एरिया का थे उनले विस्तार ऐप नहीं उड़ा एंकर सीट एंकर को रोल पनी खेलना सकते हैं वन बच्ची जैसे आज खेल रहे हैं कसन साधु नौसतरा ने उड़ा विस्� यू सक्ति को सुनली बैक ऑफ द हैंड नया खाल को बॉल करे अब इसलाइक की नाम दीने मजान दीने एक पर ट्रिपल में हैरन लाए कौन सा यू मेरे विचार में ये नया खाल को बॉल को प्रयास कर रहे काथी अब इसको की नाम से बनी राजन लेके इसने बनने से बाब मोहम्मद आरिफ से कुकर कानी कर रहा कुथी मोहम्मद आरिफ से यो क्विकर लेकिन तब मतलब बाहर था केले दिए एक रन को लागी अंतिम टूर्नामेंट खेल रहे सन तो नया कुल ट्राई करने वाला रोकिए का सेनुन सक्ति का उसन सायद इसी कारण इतने लामा कैरियर भाई उनको रहते इतनी बरसों सम्मा नेपाली टीम को लागी परफॉर्मेंस कर पासन क्रिकेट को लागी अजय बाकी चंन सारिक � दाहिरे मन लेता क्रिकेट और जेपन ते युवा अवस्था जत्ती के खेल चुवने और जेपन इतिहो जोस और तुझे आगर सकती को उसने संग बाकी भाई कहाँ में देखने सकते हों तो यो वाइट अगी बाइरे अगी एंड्रू ले बंदे थे उन्हें साथी इस पॉइंट इस वर्ग का सान रहा बने रहा रजून उनको गेम्स है रजून उनले आज अपनी चीज़ जाना खोजी रहा था ना अपने डिलीवरी और वो वेरी संसर ले उनको खोजी रहा है कसन मान लाख जन उन्हें थर्टी फाइव सन बास्ता मुनी मन ले आज अपनी ट्वेंटी नहीं सन रजून जून ट्राई कर रहा कसन टीम ला जीतों बनने आज अपनी तो जोश जांगर देखी है � दूर आरिफ से कुकर आकाने कर देते हो नेपाली क्रिकेट घरेलू क्रिकेट में जाती पर ने टी ट्वेंटी प्रतियोगिता रोबाई का सन अमीले शुरुआत देखी नाम लेने थी प्रतियोगिता को हैरने हो बनी और इले समय आरिफ से जून जून फ्रेंचाइज टोली में बसे का सन टी टोली अर्ले फाइनल जीते गई था एक दो वड़ा � ऑफिस तो मंदा बाहर को बॉल सोरे का सन लेग्स तेरा तेरा जमा एक रन मची था बुजुर्ग पर नहीं उनसे मोहम्मद आरिफ से एकले ये संगे तेरे ऊपर को समाप्ति एक से पैंतीस रन चार विकेट कुछ ऐसी मां भाई रवा क्लाइडियटर्स सुनील धमाला नाम दे दे उन्होंने उन्हें राय सकी कासन प्लेटफॉर्म में सुनील धमाला की फायदी बॉलर होना सक्षम एकदम ही मौत अलग दे आसान मिल चुकी है इतनी वाला सम बॉलिंग करेगा थे नन तर ठीक सा थुले स्कोर थियो नया बॉलर थे देव सूर्यपंत थियो तर जो निशाब ले उन्हें टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में टीटन सारा प्रेशर संसंगे ही संभावना पनी ऑलराउंडर देखा होनी और तीसरा न योग्यता पहले इनिंग में प्रहार करी सके कासन योगदान दी सके कासन आवो बॉलिंग पर तकिए कस्तो योगदान दी सन हरना बाकी चल मोहम्मद सेक उठाई दिए कासन रो यो सीधे दर्शक दिर्गा मा चूलो चौरन मोहम्मद सेक को बैड बात है सुनिए बॉल मा पहले बॉल पर ते प्रेशर 
भनेने विभु प्रेसर सिचुएसन भइसकेको छ स्लग स्विपको लागि गएको त आरिफ शेख र क्या मिठो मजाले एक रन भएको छ त्यहाँ माफ करूं ला क्या मेरा को ताल संगे आमी पनी बाउंड्री समय पुगे हों छोरन भने सुमेली माफ करूं ला एक रन मा चित्त बुझाए का सनारिफ से इकले यो रामरा एंगल होने सकता सुनता हमला को लाइकी रविंद्र सिंह ला कंटेन करनु सब आने राउंड द विकेट आया रा जून आलिक दी कार ओपर सो लेफ्ट हैंडर बैट्समैन ला ऑप्शनल खेल पहाड़ सामोजुन लक्ष्य सा ऐला पाऊनु सावने कठिन चल लक्ष्य सगर माता को चुतुरु जति के अगलो सा तरण सगर माता को चुतुरु मान नौ पुगिया कपन तो छाई दंता मानसेर पुगी सके कासन नहीं ना तेरे स्टेफली रो अंदर आइस खेलने प्रयास करें कथिर राम रखने करन सके नन आरे इफ्ले तीन बॉल में तीन रन रामरो शुरुआत करे धमला ले यो ओवर में जैसेरी राउंड विकेट आया रबलिंग कर रविंदर सिंह लाई रा आरिफ सेक लाई रूम दी रहे का साइनन हाथ को मानो कलाई फिर इपने ब्लॉक होल में तो रामरो प्लेसमेंट क्या प्रामरो खोजे रविंदर सिंह ले टाइमिंग उतिके रामरो त्यू चार रन प्राप्त करे का सन कोटी तो दूसरों बोला फिर तेरी लाइन लेन में कर दाहिर उनले चार रन बैठा है कती चार एटैप करते हैं और आपने गेम लेचिए जैसे रविंदर सिंह ले रो भागी मानी पनी साबित भाई रामरूप गैप में बैठा है यो बॉल लाई रनडेट प्रोसेस ने भरे वाक लैडिएटर्स को दस दस मतलब तीन नौ को रनडेट रहे कुछ अब भरे वाक सुनील धमला आठ रन यो वर्ण बनी सही कर सा आज अपने तीहतर रन चाहिए रहे कुछ साइंटिस बॉल मा राउंडेड आज अपने बारह रन प्रति ओवर कुछ सा मोहम्मद आरिफ सेक रायु सॉर्ट बॉल रोहित संगे चारण प्राप्त करे काशन मोहम्मद आरिफ से अपने चौदह ओवर को समाप्ति मां एक से तीस चालीस रन चार विकेट कुछ है तीमा भाईरो बाग क्लाडियटर्स Very pretty swagger, so AP1 as Dima TBS APL 2018 co third match. By the way, gladiators versus Pokhara Rhinos here. They will know some Pokhara Rhinos lay by the batting error. Do you say Pondra and Kobisa Luxia scoreboard Maraki? Could you this position? Do you say Sora and Co Luxia Pachiao? They do happy batting or they could have a gladiators or some man's and a couple of time as a dust of small teams. I could score my Royal Pistam on the bike of Fuller let the ball to tie the castle lock. Charan Kolagi. रविंदर सिंह रोकी ने नाम ली रही नंदर निरंतर रूप में बाउंड्रीज माती बाउंड्रीज राखी रहे कासन रो लक्ष्य लाए निकले नजीक अभी इंदर सिंह राजन 
स्ट्रेट में खेल दिए लॉन्ग ऑन मार्टी को बाउंड्री वाले सिक्स रन्स को लागे और जून बैटिंग बाकी सा को आमे रोहित पौडल आउन बाकी सन भुवन कार्की रायो फुल चौस बॉल उठाई दिए कासन चार रन को लागे लगातार दो ही वचा दर्शक दिर्गा मा रविंदर सिंह रोकी ने नाम ली रहे कासन बैरवा ग्लैडिएटर्स ले जीत समा पूरे उन्हें द्रेड लक्ष्य को साथ मागी बड़ी रहे का ये चौबीस नंबर को दर्शी को मोहम्मद आसिफ सेख पार्टनरशिप इस लाइक की वन सकें सर राजन अलाइ मैचुरिटी वन सकें सर अलाइ अनुभव वन सकें सर इंद्र सिंह ने देखा है कासन ज़्यादा बॉल करे कासन उधर तेरा शॉट आने कासन फ्री में ए आप को बोल लेग में लेग को बोल में आप में खेलने प्रयास करें कई साइन हैं वन इंच नहीं ठुलो टारगेट सब ने आमिस सबे बॉल एक इधर आना कुछ और मीडियम करते धेरे टारगेट कर सो तो तेज़ तो गरी है का देखिए कुछ साइन रविंद्र सिंह बाटा जो उनको अनुभव चाहो उन्हें पूरा यूज़ करें कासन अल समारो 91 उत्ती के चतुर दुई वचा छोरन प्रार्थ करी सके बसी ठुलो हेट तेरे जानक प्रयास करना ग्याप मार के ले दुई रन को लागी निकेत चलाकी पुनो बैटिंग कर रहे कासन जब इंदर सिंह ये डा बैटिंग क्लिनिक वन इंसा उन्हें देखा है कासन आजा कि कसरी बैटिंग कर इंसा ठुलो चेस वर दाखेरी दूसरे सोरों दान नहीं कहने मचियोर गेम प्लेक करते का सुने एक रन का लागी स्ट्राइक में मोहम्मद आरिफ से एक रा अब इले रनडेड दस दस मतलब नौ वे को चली रहे कुछ रिक्वायर्ड रनडेड दस दस मतलब पांच तेरे कम करी सके का सुन रिक्वायर्ड रनडेड लाइफ नहीं रहत जो निसाबले रवि इंदर सिंह खेली रहे का सुन तिरानबे रन पैंतालीस बॉल म देखने सकते हैं पुखरा राइनोस का फैन सरु यो टूलो इट को प्रयास मिसिट रस्सी दे कॉटन बोल्ड मोहम्मद आरिफ सेख सुसन भारी को बॉल मार इस संगे महत्वपूर्ण विकेट गुमाया कुछ भाइयों वाक ग्लैडिएटर्स ले मीडियम करती रहा ना खोजे सर हम लोग ने कुरा गौरदन ही थे हम जिन्होंने डर प्री मीडियम शॉट होने सा आरिफ से गाल का स्लोर फाले करते सुसन भारी ले रस कॉटन बोल करेगा सन इसका साथ है रोहित कुमार पौडल आउं देशन क्रीज मा रोहित कुमार पौडल और कोई उटा नाम जस्ट ले नेपाली क्रिकेट में उटा रामरू जग बसाई सके कासन उटा चुलो नाम पन्ने दिशा तरफ आप लाई अग्रसर कराई रहे कासन और नेपाल कल आगे इंटरनेशनल मैचेस और में अपनी उटा रामरू प्रदर्शन करे रहा आप लाई स्टेबलिस करी सके कासन नेपाली राष्ट्रीय क्रिकेट टोली में गत वर्ष एपीएल म नेपाल वरिने चर्चा बाव को थी और उन नेशनल नेशनल टीम में आई पुए का थी है हम स्टार्ट सेना सक्सो रबी स्टारे ले इन लाइन मिस्टर डिपेंडेबल पनी बने रचिने चिन्ना थारी सके कुछ नेपाली क्रिकेट को सिनारियो मा केवल सत्र बरस उमेर का ही रोहित कुमार पौडे ले ले नेपाली क्रिकेट को बागडोर संभाले इस संगे पंद्रह ओवर को समाप्ति भाई कुछ है एक से या साथी रन पांच विकेट कुछ छेती मार भाई रवा ग्लैडिएटर्स रवा यहाँ बात है अंग्रेजी में कमेंट्री को जिम्मेवारी संभालों ने चाहे एंड्रयू रनब नहीं थे थर्ड टेन एंड दिस वन गोइंग डाउन इस वेल राइट टू द वेरी एंड एस लॉन्ग एस रवि इंदर सिंह इस इन द the gladiators are in with a chance 93 of 45 and he is the top scorer so far in this season of the Everest Premier League what a game we have on our hands Andrew yeah not just the top scorer 
in this season, the Irish Premier League, the top scorer in the history of the Irish Premier League. Are we going to see the first century struck? Could be Ravery, Ravery Indra Singh, 93 off 45. It looked like the Gladiators were dead and very buried, particularly after the early loss of Sa and Ayri. But it's game on here. Could be a third cracker out of three. Absolutely. And spare a thought for the 17-year-old Dave Shah. He went for 40 runs in the two overs that he bowled. And he was targeting his spinners was Ravi Indar Shah. He didn't necessarily go after Shakti Gauchan and he knew that he had a few bowlers that he could target. And Dave Shah was one of them. Yeah, Dev Shah got 38 in his two overs, hit for five sixes. And it's going to be the experience of the overseas pro. It's going to be Paul Coughlin coming into the attack from the near end here. Uses English experience game on full hit down the ground straight towards us it's going to come towards the window it's hit the window it nearly came through the window it's all happening here what a shot six runs he moves to 99 we just had the commentators box class shattered Ravi Inder Singh moves on to 99 and we're safe here in the commentary box. How long we're going to be safe in here as long as he's batting. Straight in the slot. It was powered down the ground towards our commentary position. I had the panic on. I was looking for the crooked helmet. And it smashed our window in the window. Our score. All right. There's glass everywhere. Action on the field. That's the 100. That's the moment we've been waiting for. We wondered what had happened this year. The 2018 Everest Premier League on the second day sees the first ever Centurion. History in Kathmandu. Ravi Inder Singh from India scores the first ever century of the TVS Everest Premier League. And what a match to deliver on. Chasing a daunting record breaking 216. And they're very much in contention in the. But there's a game to win now. Singh has the personal milestone, but they'll be looking for the victory. The glass is shattered everywhere in front of us. It's all happening in Kathmandu. Pressure on Coughlin. 2.2 overs, 1 for 36, the big tall Nottinghamshire seamer. He's feeling under the pump. There might only be five or 6,000 here, but it feels like as full a house as yesterday now. Full powered over the offside. They just brought Long off into the circle. One bounce, four. Powdle the new batsman and gets a boundary, a crucial boundary, and, and Rob Singh needs him some company they'll do in just a second delivery put him over covers for a one bounce boundary have a look at this for a knock he just kept hitting the big ones one after the other he didn't spare any of the spinners in fact he did respect Shakti Gauchan a little bit and through for a dot ball half an appeal that's not out singing in just such power he struck the ball with Nav Short deliveries went over the square boundaries. The full pitch deliveries went straight back. He didn't spare the commentators as well. Everyone in the firing line, the full tosses were dispatched. This is as clean as it can get. And that last ball, the last six to get him to 99. How clean was that, Andrew? Yeah, wonderful cricket. Short, slower ball bouncer, very well bowled. Good piece of keeping as well. That can be tricky. It can often spin off the second bounce of the slower ball bouncer. So good dot ball, just reining it back in. Two, two consecutive dot balls. Yeah, very rightly so. Ravi Inder Singh quickly walks over. A few quick words with Powder. All he needs to do is take the single. Every ball counts here at this stage. You don't want to be having too many dot balls when you're chasing 216. Yeah, 45 to win now of 25 balls, four overs and one ball left. And it's 45 runs more required for the Gladiators. Another slower ball bouncer heaved into the leg side. There's a man out there. It's down his throat. That's the wicket. He's gone.
Yes. That is a wicket. This is a fantastic finish to the over by Paul Coughlin. Two dot balls followed by a wicket. That they still need 45 in four overs. They dot ball trying to go for the boundary yet again when singles could have done the job. And 171 for six in, in overs, the gladiators. see the wicket here as we come back to you dug into the pitch by Coughlin it's the longer side of the boundary out there towards that far leg side and you might have wondered what the little bit of argument was about at the end of the delivery Coughlin cross because he doesn't want to be on strike and Singh's going no 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 we didn't cross I'm still on strike let me face the next delivery but what does it actually mean who's gonna be on strike it looks like it's gonna be Puneet Mehra on strike fellow Indian Is it? Yes, it is. So Puneet Mehra on strike and it's still going to be Ravi in there at, at the non-striker's end. Crease here now. Two of the Gladiators overseas players. That's his T20 record, Mehra. Struggled with the ball earlier. He's got to make it up with the bat now. And realistically, he's got to get Inder Singh on strike. Oh Looks for the huge slog sweep first ball. Half an appeal. Definitely hit him outside the line of off stump. And I think a lot of a lot of batsmen have, especially in these situations, quick replay once again off that six that got him to 99. This is the one that's coming down towards our position. You can see us scurrying for the houses. I was running for the hills. I was gone back to the hotel. in with a chance to win this game but he's got to have partners at the other end yeah I think he'll be confident if he can bat through if he's still there not out at the end I think it's going to be the gladiators taking the win today and scoring a huge upset over the rhinos after the record total of 215 in the first innings driven down the ground there's protection there though well field that's just going to be one the Rhinos will be quite happy with that. They wouldn't mind the single, so that brings Mera back on strike. And from a match that I saw, 100 was just about scored in the final over. It's been an absolute run fest today. What a stark difference between yesterday and today, Andrew. Yeah, we had a low scoring thriller yesterday, Nav, and we've got a high scoring thriller today. So we'll get a medium score in Thriller tomorrow and we'll just balance it all out. I don't want to make things too confusing here at the TVS Everest Premier League. We've got to keep people on their toes. And if you're in Kathmandu, get down here tomorrow. 100 rupees for adults, 50 for the students. I reckon there might be pushing up towards 6,000 in the ground now. We had 12 and a half yesterday. Down the ground, well-fielded Gauchan using all his experience. And he's the one who... Ravi Inder Singh respected. He made sure that he played Gauchan out. And respectable figures for Gauchan in a very high scoring game. Just 27 and he's almost close to finishing his quota of four overs. So you would take that in a game where bowlers are bowling, going at over, close to 11 to the over. This is fantastic figures for the very experienced Shakti Gauchan. 
into the slot, hammered down the ground, looks like it's going to go all the way, smashes into the side screen, that's six more, Mer his partner Singh, easing the pressure, reducing the target. Fantastic, it was one of those rare deliveries, and full on to the batsman, and he didn't miss that. He was confident the moment he struck that, he knew that was going for six. Side screen. Down the track hit again. That's going to be six more. That sails into the sands. That's going to advance. Mare is helping his Indian colleague sing. And this is not only game on, I reckon it's the Gladiators game to lose. Absolutely unbelievable. Who would have thought that Shakti Gauchan would have got for two sixes in his final two deliveries? 17 overs completed, 185 for Game on. That's the Gladiators card, seeing the man making history with that century. He's been helped out by back-to-back -back consecutive sixes from Mary. And surely the entire fate of this game now lies in the hands of Bikran Saab. He's bowled two overs, two for five. Text of a match where the 17 overs have gone for 185, he's got two for five. Can he drag his side back into the game? It's 31 to win off 18. He bowled at a very different stage of the game when a uh, flourishing Ravi Inder Singh is on strike it's a different ball game and two batsmen two Indians they've managed to get a few sixes already and they need 31 in the final three can Bikram so do what he did in his first spell everyone's anxious here they're all on their toes they're all on their feet everybody in the crowd my co-commentator Andrew's on his feet as well I can't sit down, Nav, I'm too excited. And I'm feeling that tension that the crowd are feeling. Everyone in the stands, they're on their feet. Here comes Bikram Saab, three overs to go. Huge appeal from Saab, but not from the keeper. But crucially a dot ball, and immediately he's back to that lengthy bold for the first two overs. Just a little back of good length, and he's got a decent pace as well. So that's helping. We will wait and watch. That was a rare occasion where Ravi Inder Singh missed the ball, was looking for that cut. There's obviously the gap between short third man and point. We just saw a very nervous looking Pakara Rhino's coach, the Australian Nathan Dodd. He's taking some notes there. Short again, cut away with given to the longer side of the ground well fielded they're going to try and come back for two doesn't have the arm an easy two smart thinking there they took on the fielder they knew that was the long side of the boundary and it's going to take some time for the ball to come back in comfortable too and that also means Ravinder Singh back on strike 29 of 16 now now is your voice going with all the excitement I'm not going to be surprised if I have a sore throat by the end of today. Two exciting games. Well, three and three, in fact. Short of a length, but width again. Hammered over the cover fielder. That's going to run away for four. Brilliant batting from Ravi. It doesn't matter where you bowl, does it? You bowl full and he leads you straight. You bowl shot and he hits you over. This has been batting of the... Ravi Inder Singh. He was allowed the width to free his arms. That was the crucial aspect there. And the problem with Saab coming in, length every time, he's going to get used to it. He's a man. He's got 107 off 51. He's seeing the ball like a watermelon. Yeah, I've heard football. Watermelon is a first. I'm just seeing all the watermelons around Kathmandu. Delicious watermelon juice this morning. 
Fuller this time well bowled, adjusted his length, went Fuller and causing problems. Much better, right in between the shot the sh and the Fuller delivery and that's exactly where he would want to be bowling, there you go. Not giving enough width for the batsman again to free his arm, so can he replicate that? Yeah, classic good length there from Vikram, there's definitely pressure on the bowler, 25 off 14. Spoke yesterday about the 19th over being the crucial one. It could be again today. Short pulled away. There's a man in the deep, but it sails miles over his head. It's the short boundary. Touches the air. Six more for Ravi Indra Singh. This is quite literally batting of the highest. He is toying with the opposition, is Ravi Indra Singh. And the dugout, the players that he having a ball that's his 10th six of the innings just himself Ravi Indra Singh he is single-handedly dragging the gladiators over the line here and what that's also done is it kept the Kingfisher cheerleaders very very busy on what has been an old cast evening here in Kathmandu and now the equation thir 13 deliveries left 19 required it has to be advantage the Bhairava Gladiators now. Interesting to see that the Pakara Rhinos captain Kyle Coulter straight over to his bowler. No panic in his face. He'll be panicking inside, but he's a very calm leader. But he's going, how are we losing this game? Inside he's panicking, but he's trying to keep his bowler calm. See, can he get us a crucial dot ball here? That's what he's asking him to do. Driven down the ground. Very clever batting. Long off was wide, so they are going to come back and take two. I thought they might take the single just to keep the strike. We've had a deflection. They thought about the third. That's going to be the end of the 18th over. The score now, 199 for six. There's the crowd, they're all on their feet. The Kingfisher cheerleaders are keeping them going. The six and four flags are waving. The photos are being taken. It's a brilliant atmosphere here. The sun dipping behind the Himalayas in the background to our right. Just two overs to go. And before today in the history of three seasons of the Everest Premier League, we had never seen one side get to 200. We're just about to see two sides in the same game go to 200. Huge credit to the ground staff here for preparing a brilliant cricket wicket. Absolutely, and a complete contrast to what we saw yesterday. The Lalitpur Patriots, it took them almost 20 overs. I'm sorry, the Bharatnagar Warriors, it took them almost 20 overs to chase the target of 104. It's going to be Coughlin. And that's down the leg side. That's going to be signaled wide. Shows his frustration, but that's got to be wide. Well, Paul Coughlin ended the previous over quite well, but his figure still showed two for 41 in three overs. And that just goes to show the impact that Ravi Inder Singh has had on this innings, on this game. There it is, the hashtag EPL T20. Get involved. Clipped into the offside. Clever batting here, isn't it? You know, Mira knows that Singh has batted so well. Let's get him on to strike and let him close this game out in the 19th over. And it's going to be very interesting to see how Ravi Inder Singh approaches this now. Is he still going to go all guns blazing? Technically, he doesn't need to do that. 15 of 11. They can do it in singles and the odd boundary or the odd six as well. So that's going to be interesting, Andrew. Yeah, the required run rate has hovered well over 12 throughout almost the entire innings. It's now down around eight. Changes the narrative, changes the dynamic. Fine legs in the circle. That's going to run away. That's four more. It's now just 11 to win off 10. I can't believe what I'm seeing. We, we went through two seasons 
of teams struggling to score runs and here we are in an absolute run for runs being scored you take a look at the replay again it was a slow one from Paul Coughlin and he waited on to that and very nicely tucked it past short fine leg very clever batting from Ravi Indra Singh. He's used the angle. Cochran choosing to come around the wicket to the left-handers. He dragged the slower ball down. Singh waited beautifully. Fuller this time chipped into the offside. It's agonizingly over the head of cover. They're going to run two. And they'll get there. Nine to win off nine, Nav. And how crucial has Puneet Mehra's supporting act been over here? He hit those two mighty sixes of Shakti Gaussana and that was definitely one of the turning points of this game. No one expected that. No one saw that coming. He just relieved the pressure on his partner. And those two sixes complemented by two singles to get him back on strike. Seeing the star of the show. Again, clever batting. Knows he doesn't have to do anything too crazy. Takes the single. Eight to win off eight. And you spoke about Kyle being calm on the outside. But I'm not too sure if the Pokhara Rhinos were ready for this. They had no idea what's coming their way. And this is definitely a breath of fresh air, not just for the gladiators, but for this tournament in itself. Well, ball, Paul Coughlin, under edge. Good piece of fielding by the wicketkeeper with the direct hit. Looks to be safely home. And the umpire decides probably no need to go upstairs there. Now, I think you're spot on. And, and if you thought about the game yesterday where we saw 100 and most unlikely of circumstances, who would have thought that this could be chased down today? Brilliant work from the keeper. One-handed pickup and a direct hit. Interestingly, upstairs, but he was probably safely home. Umpires might be a little conscious of the light here, Nap. Well bowled, Paul Coughlin. Just going to be a single. So the formula couldn't be any simpler. It's going to be six to win off six. At the end of the 19th, the Gladiators are 210 for six. Lots of happy faces in the crowd here as the birds fly over for international cricket ground. It's going to be Bikram Saab to bowl the final over. And I don't know whether there's more pressure on him or there's more pressure on Ravi, Ravi Indra Singh. All right, Andrew, it's the moment of truth. We've got our predictions wrong all through the tournament so far. Correction, Nav, you've got your predictions wrong all through the tournament so far. <laughs> I'm going to ask you very quickly, who's your money on? Always on the batting team. I hope the bowling team, but always on the batting team. They just need a run of ball. The field is spread. They do this cleverly and sensibly. They'll get there easily. Two balls to spare. Here comes Saab. It's straight to the man at cover. They've run anyway. Good piece of fielding from Coatser, but they get through for the single. That's the problem. The field are all on the edge of the circle, and everyone else is outside. They're going to get a single every ball. And with the contribution from Puneet Mehra, I don't think Ravi Indra Singh will be single. Puneet has been in there for a while. There you go. Kyle Kutz is right on the edge of the 30-yard circle there. Been a direct hit. It would have been a lot more closer. And I think this is now what Bikram Saab and is talking to Binod Das and looking over at Kyle Coatser about what do I do? I've bowled a good ball, I've hit back of a length and he's still got the single and they need a run of ball. We've got to put some pressure on them. We've got to squeeze them somewhere in the circle. Maybe one man on each side just to give us a chance of a dot. Thank you. And an interesting field as well. There's just one, in fact, there are two, in the, two, of, two players in the 30-yard circle on the leg side. 
Yes, just one on the leg side and three on the off side. So everyone's on the boundary line in the leg side. And it's, it's good. It's understandable that he's going outside off, wanting the batsman to play on the off. Straight into the slot. It's going to come down towards Long on again. Sunil Damala, the fielder. There's only time for one. They're going to keep us on tender hooks. They don't want this to go to the last ball. It's three to win off three. At what point is Kyle going to bring the, cr the field in? It's getting a little dark here as well. So it's, yeah, Kyle and Levy are having a chat with the umpire there, with the leg umpire. Just three required of three. Nav, three to win off three. It's taken us till day two to mention the word super over. If they get two, we could have a super over. We might need the floodlights on in the background as well. And they don't have floodlights here at the, the stadium. So all happening in Kathmandu. Pulled away. There's a man in the deep. It's a shorter boundary. It's misfielded. And they're going to get back for two. How costly was that misfield? Unbelievable scenes here. No one scripted this. 216, a record chase this would have been. And what we have witnessed over the last 90 minutes was, it will go down in the history books for sure. Ravi Indar Singh, the Indian, making his debut in the Everest Premier League. And they're now one run away from chasing this gigantic total. It's not going to be Singh on strike though. Unlikely that he's going to have the chance at the winning runs really. It's going to be his Indian compatriot Mehra. He's played a great hand with 18 off 9. In comes Saab. Full toss wide outside off. It's not only gone for a wide, it's gone for five wides. It's all over. The Barara Gladiators make history. They chase down a record total. It's a second record total, twice in the same day. And they win, all thanks to Ravinder Singh's 125 by four wickets. Unbelievable, and have a look at him. Every single individual player going up to Ravinder Singh and congratulating him. And that's just the sheer spirit of sportsmanship. Fantastic to see. And what he's done today is quite special. No one has ever done this in the history of the Everest Premier League. And not just the Everest Premier League. You put this in perspective in any league around the world, this is special. Absolutely right. We've seen two unbelievable batting performances today. Richard Levy, the South African in the background there. Interestingly, we had him in the shot there with Ravi Indra Singh. But the hero of the day... Who would have thought when we walked off 90 minutes ago that he'd be walking off, not out, with the win. 125 of 60 balls, 8 fours and 10 maximum sixes. What a Denny stage, let alone the biggest tournament in Nepal. Here's the final ball. He was looking for the Yorker. It skewed out of the side of the hand. And for a man who bowls today, that's a sad way to finish. Very unfortunate spare a thought for the bowler and most importantly spare a thought for Richard Levy after what he did in the first innings Kyle Kutzer and the Rhinos would have felt they had enough in the bank but they had no idea that they were going to run into Ravinder Singh yeah lovely to see great sportsmanship and spirit between the two sides here but Kyle Kutzer looked shell-shocked he looked like he had just had the stuffing knocked out of him. He didn't know what had happened. And the Gladiators kept believing. And they got there to take the crucial win. The first win of the, of the tournament for them in their opening match. And they're going to join the reigning champions on the top of the table for now. The second game we've had finish off the second last ball in two days now. Absolutely. And a very big shout out to the crowd as well. What a fantastic turnout today and we expected it to be a lot lesser compared to the packed house that we had on the opening day but no one saw this coming what a finish we had two excellent games today and to be honest if you look at all three games every single match went to the final over there's not much you can ask for more than that to be honest
very quickly let's go through the second innings they struggled early on and then came Ravi Inder Singh he just kept hitting them kept smoking them over the boundary line six after six after six the spinners went the distance so did Paul Coughlin and Dave Shah spared a thought well he gave 38 runs in the two overs that he bowled 17 year old Dave Shah Ravinder Singh hitting him for five sixes in those two overs and then came Kyle Kutsa he went the distance full tosses they were dispatched and that I think was the turning point the last two deliveries of Shakti Kauchan spell no one saw that coming Puneet Mehra hit him for two sixes and that changed the complexion completely and towards the end it was a lot easier than they thought it what a historic win the bite of our gladiators we are a runners up of the previous edition and no surprises they have a fantastic team but Ravi Inder Singh is a standout 125 of 60 deliveries and good support from Muhammad Sheikh initially 23 of 13 and right at the very end from Puneet Mehra 18 deliver 18 runs of nine deliveries 216 for six with two balls to spare with just the at, uh, look at that for a view the Sun just just about the right time before the light started to fade away here's a quick look at the wickets as well excellent bowling there go got the edge and that was the big one Ryan Tenders got a faint edge back to the keeper of Paul Coughlin and good work by the wicket keeper here again so that was wicket number four and that was Mohamed Sheikh the final wicket to go five sorry I was fifth wicket and then Paul Coughlin got wicket. and very quick look at the figures three bowlers got two wickets each Shushan Bari Vikram Sob and Paul Coughlin but have a look at that economy rate at the right of the very end the right column 17 runs that Kyle Kutsa gave in his over Dave Shah went for 19 runs per over every single bowler went the distance it was only Vikram Sob who did a phenomenal job early on and he was given the task of bowling the last over but it, the pressure was too much even for Bikram Saab because the damage had already been done by Ravi Inder Singh and uh, we have the man of the moment right now we have Sun we have in fact we have Puneet Mehra Sanyukta is right on the boundary line with Puneet Mehra Puneet Mehra played a fantastic job and I have with me Puneet Mehra from Bhairava Gladiators Puneet what a match what a match I mean more than 400 runs scored in total I mean what do you have to say about that well basically well uh, it's hard to play in such sort of situation when you see that two matches happened before and hardly team scored 130 and 120 so we were thinking that we will get them in 150 or something odd but they batted really well seriously they scored 216 runs and we were like will be we, uh, are we gonna chase it or not and then well hats off to Ravi the way he batted we wanted such sort of inning from him and he did that and thanks to my captain that he trusted on me and he sent me and I knew that if the left arm is there then definitely I will get two sixes at least and I did that for my team and I'm really happy um, Ravinder Singh's performance I mean like he was amazing I think the whole crowd was cheering for him were you really expecting him to stand out there and you know bring the runs uh, for the team and contribute in such a way uh, that you know your team is going to be so proud and it's going to get you victory well, when I went inside then he was like don't worry I'll do that and I was like okay well, what do you want me to do give me single I was like okay so that's what I did I gave him single and he was hitting all the all the balls for boundaries and sixes that was amazing after this match, I think you've become the hot favorite. Uh, are you excited? Are you looking forward to the tournament more? What are your thoughts? Well, after the first inning, well, nobody was cheering for us. And I was like, okay, well, we, are, we have to bat. So at least you can cheer for us. And the way Ravi batted and the way everyone, RF, Rohit, and Pradeep, the way they batted. So, yeah, they proved that, yes, we have to be here and we belong to win. And that's, that's what we did. All right. Thank you so much. And now back to the Combox.
Thank you, Sanyukta. It was good to hear from Puneet Mehta and how important was that partnership with Ravi and their singers right at the very end. A very quick look at the match summary here. To 430 runs being scored in one day. No one saw that coming, especially after day one, where both teams struggled to manage even 100 runs. The Pokhara Rhinos scoring 215, led by the explosive South African Richard Levy, who scored 79, and the captain Kutzer scoring 47. Avinash Bora, 33, was the standout for the Gladiators. And when the Gladiators came into bat, it was a slow start. Bikram Saab did all the damage, 25 for 2. But in came Ravinder Singh. And he did what no one saw coming. 125. This is history for the Everest Premier League. The first time that anyone has scored 100 in the Everest Premier League. And what that meant was that the Bairava Gladiators eventually went on to winning this game by four wickets. And the first game for the Gladiators and the Rhinos, and what a fantastic game it was. So we've seen five out of the six teams in action already in the three games so far. We're yet to see the Kathmandu Kings 11. And that's going to happen tomorrow. And very quickly, we'll be back with you for the presentation summary.
Hello and welcome to the post-match presentation here at the TVS Everest Premier League. We've witnessed an absolute cracker. A third brilliant match out of three games so far on day two of the TVS Everest Premier League. It was an unlikely result at the halfway stage after the record score of 215 from the Pakara Rhinos. And we're going to chat to the losing captain now, Scotland's Kyle Coatser. Kyle, you made history today by setting a record score of 215. Surely you thought you had the game in the bag. Yeah, I guess that just shows uh, the quality of the players in this tournament. Um, we uh, we felt we had a good chance, but you know, in T20 cricket, the game's never over. So um, we we had a good start to the the, the bowling innings, and um, uh, Ravi played an outstanding knock. I don't think you'll see many many better knocks than that in this tournament, and uh, it's happened in the second day. So it's a great start to the tournament. It's a credit to everyone involved. You looked incredibly calm and composed, even as the ball was flying over the rope, but you were shell-shocked at the end. You must have been utterly disappointed. Yeah, look, you've got to try and try and stay as calm as you as you possibly can on the field and try and make some, some calculated decisions. Uh, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it, it just doesn't go that way. Um, Ravi, like I said, he, he played outstandingly. There was there was almost nowhere we could bullet him today. Uh, look, maybe maybe we didn't quite execute, and and maybe uh, we were a little bit shy um, when some went up in the air. Um, maybe a half chance, possibly. But look, um, when someone scores 125 or whatever it was, you have to you have to take whatever comes your way. And, and today and today we didn't. And um, you know, again, like I said, credit to the Gladiators and how they played. Yeah, some positives though for your side as well. That Richard Levy in 79 off 36, and then Sunil Damalin yourself also in good form. That must give you enough to look forward to the next game with. Yeah, look, the guys guys batted brilliantly. Um, we ran hard. Uh, obviously, Levy Levy led us from the from the front, and he, he kept knocking the ball out the park. Look, he's he's a player who'll play a couple of innings like that in this this tournament. So we uh, fingers crossed he does it again. But you know, there are other guys uh, down our order. We've got full confidence in our team, and we have to keep showing that. Kyle, hard luck today. Best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Cheers. Time now to talk to the winning captain. I don't think he's had the smile off his face since I've seen him. Sharad Vasakar, up you come. The winning captain of the Gladiators. Just come in here for me. Congratulations. What were you thinking at the halfway stage after that Richard Levy innings? Uh, well, we had no choice to go hard after it, you know. So, yeah, amazing innings uh, by both the batsmen, both the teams. You know, like, uh, what a game of cricket, like, around four and then... 50 runs scored, so, you know, I haven't seen this before in this ground. Well, it's the first time 200's been passed in the Everest Premier League, and you just did it a little innings later as well. But talk to us about when you lost two early wickets, did you still believe your side could get over the line? Oh, we were taking it over by over, you know, like uh, we knew Ravi, Ravi's capability and like we have a ba long batting lineup. So, yeah, we had no choice to rather go for it. And like it came out special innings by Ravi. I think we are short of words to praise him <laughs> enough, you know, like so I hope he continues for our team. Well, look, we're going to look forward to more of your team's fireworks throughout the tournament. You're off to a winning start. Congratulations. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. I'm going to introduce now the presentation panel to my left here. We've got Mr. Arjun Nepal, the Chief Manager of Nepal SBI Bank. You're very welcome, and we're thankful for your support. And Mrs. Deepta Argawal, the owner of the Bacara Rhinos, absolutely gutted to lose today. But it is time to announce the bankable player of the match. And really, to be very frank, there was only one option for the commentary panel. The man of the match with 125 not out, 8 fours, 10 sixes. It's Ravi Indra Singh. And he not only wins the player of the match medal there, but of course, he also wins the 15,000 rupee check for the bankable player of the match. A special knock from a special man. He's going to come in and join us now. In you come to me, please, Ravi. Wow. Well, I looked up your stats there. That's not only your 2020 career best, but surely the best innings of your career. Yeah, sure. That's definitely... Because, because the wicket is very good, so when the opponent batted, they started very well. So I just, when I went to the pitch, so I just keep believing in myself, so we can do. You looked like you were timing the ball particularly well, but you also paced your innings beautifully, accelerated nicely through the middle. You never let that run rate get above and over. Yeah, I just calculate according to the situation, so that's why we did it. And the teammates' help that you batted through at the end, the little cameo from your, your colleague Mira, Arif Sheikh with 23, you couldn't have done it without them? 
Yeah, I just told him to go for a big shot because that was the situation. We need a big shot that time. Well, look, a huge congratulations to our bankable player of the match today. I'm going to make sure you take your medal with you. That's going to wrap it all up here now today. The TVS Everest Premier League. Day two is done. We've had three absolute thrillers. Don't forget to come back to us tomorrow. It's all going to be on starting at 8.45 a.m. with the pregame show on AP1 HD. And it's going to be the first outing for the Kathmandu Kings 11. We're going to see you at 8.45. Thank you, Andrew. It's always a pleasure chatting with someone who's just done something so... What an innings we witnessed from Ravi in their sing. And tomorrow's lineup, well, we have two games for the next five days. So it's the Chitwan Tigers versus the Kathmandu Kings 11. We saw the Chitwan Tigers earlier today. They unfortunately went down against the Lalpur Patriots. They have chance to redeem themselves against Kathmandu Kings 11. Some big players, some big signs going to be an exciting game as well. That's going to be the morning game. And the second game in the afternoon tomorrow, the Rhinos are going to come back here and they're going to play the Patriots. So it's all happening here in the third season of the TVS Everest Premier League. And uh, we just have a few clips from today. Thank you for tuning in for the second day of the TVS Everest League and we'll see you back tomorrow for day three.